Okay, so the City Mobile, especially our the Mobile Fire Rescue Department, is tasked with protecting a lot of different hazards. We have a major CSX railroad here. We have a, a one of the 12th largest port in the country based on gross tonnage. We've got a lot of industrial facilities, uh, chemical plants, major um, manufacturing plants, and we also have residential construction. We have, I mean, the challenges are numerous. We have ships coming in every single day with product that we're uneven aware of, um, but really, the the all of these hazards make it difficult for us to provide training for our firefighters. And so we have to look at different ways to be able to simulate some of these environments to allow them to be able to better respond and protect the citizens of Mobile. Look, I'm excited about this tower, but to me it's more about trying to provide a better, better level of service to the citizens we serve. And ultimately, we want to put our firefighters in the best position. We want to allow them to succeed. In order for them to succeed, it's our responsibility to provide them the equipment, the training, and the resources they need. So this tower is going to help accomplish a lot of those. And that's why we're so excited about having this tower on our, in our training facility. One of the things is, is, is with, and I mentioned health and safety, is you look at our old burn tower. It has a fire escape on the outside and uh, interior stairwell. And we also burn class A in that, in that building. So there's a lot of soot and things like that. And particularly, as you, as you know, cancer is, is very prevalent. And so putting people in there without an SCBA on um, is, is not the safest option and we want to do other things. We have a, a technical rescue team. We're repelling and rescue out of there. We run our recruits through as, as physical fitness up the tower and down, so they're running through that building and that's not the safest option. So having this outside option in another tower allows us to do repelling. Uh, it allows us to do physical fitness all away from those carcinogens, carcinogens. so that's a, that's a benefit as well. Being able to do, watching recruits work, advanced hose lines, without having to get in gear and go inside there is another benefit to our instructors at the academy as well. So our, our high rise pack, we're a little bit behind times. We still have trucks that carry inch and three quarter high rise with fog nozzles on them and uh, something's been what we've wanted to address for a long time. So we're, we're making a, a change into two and a quarter hose and solid bore nozzles on all trucks. Our downtown trucks had already made the adjustments. But uh, so we're going through with a new high rise policy. We'll be doing two weeks of instruction. Everybody on the fire department will get that instruction and we're gonna utilize this tower to accomplish that. It was very realistic to me uh, as far as hooking up to the FCCs. Uh, everything fit nice and good. Uh, good grip on the boots as far as not slipping and falling on the uh, metal framework. Being able to run all the way up to the top, flaking out the holes, had plenty of room on it, getting the job done as we needed. So it was very realistic. <music>